Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this very sunny day in Belgium. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of behind on the updates. The update 2019.4.3 is already rolling out. I hear some noise about the .5, but I recently just got the uh, 2018.50.6. So now I'm uh, testing that, see how that is progressing uh, compared to the uh, previous update. So it's been like two months since I've had an update, close to that at least. And let's see what's, uh, what's what. So as usual, the first test is going to be the Hillcrest. And in the past couple of updates, I've noticed that the car, when at the top, the lines, sorry, at the bottom again, the lines come together, the two lanes merge again. That's where the car veers off to the left a little bit, uh, because I think it's a wider lane. For a short period of time, it tries to get to the center of that wider lane, but let's see how it reacts this time. So, getting up to 17 kilometers an hour top I'm expecting no problem whatsoever that's been fine for a lot of updates already so no surprises here but now let's see at the bottom there where the lines here are disappearing it widens on the car yeah and as soon as it widens the car tries to get to the center a little bit it's not alarming or anything it's just that the car starts to weave a little bit same here at the top I'm not expecting any issues so yeah that's been fine for a long time already so here we have a similar situation where the lines disappear on the left side and then we have the bike lane on the intersection on the right side it goes a little bit to the left but now it stays to the left okay so no weaving there I was expecting a slight weave to the right when uh, we were passing the intersection, but that seemed to be uh, just fine in this update. Now here we're coming up again on the S-curve, and I have to say the uh, 2018.39.7 update is still the best one I've ever had here. So let's see if we got back on track with 50.6. Hands on steering wheel, of course, because I need to be able to intervene at any time. And let's see how it handles it. Yeah, it's not too bad. It stays within the lines, but... Whoa, here it's going over the line. And it's taking the inside of the turn here. And then going to the outside there again. Um, that's weird behavior. So it does slow down. But then at the end of the turn, it like exits the turn too soon, has to stay in the turn a little bit longer, and then it takes the inside of the left turn, um, which is still pretty dangerous in my opinion. Now something that I've noticed, and you can see it on the dash as well, is that my car for some reason seems to deviate to the left side of the road. It doesn't take the center of the road, it goes to the left lane, or the left lane marker. And, yeah, I mean, I don't know why, but sometimes it feels really close when all the cars are passing, and I don't feel comfortable with it uh, anymore. But let's see if we overtake somebody, what the lane change will do. Now, I am not, I'm just going to speed up a little bit here. Uh, to overtake that guy and in the previous video I also uh, noticed that if you're not far enough ahead of the car uh, but far enough to not display the red lane markers anymore then somehow I think it, the car thinks that the, the guy I just passed is passing me so right now I'm going to the left yeah and it is showing a red line but now it's allowing me by slowing down so it keeps me or it brings me closer to the car by slowing down but then the red, the red line disappears so something funky going on there not sure what is happening exactly or what the car is thinking but 
I get the feeling that it is thinking that the car that I just passed is actually overtaking me on the right side. But that's just a guess. The thing that annoys me more is when I interrupt the autopilot, like now I'm doing like 84, 83 kilometers an hour. If I now interrupt autopilot by just going on the accelerator to pass the car, then you see that the uh, actual autopilot speed is now at 83. So for me, I just interrupted it. I go to that again and then, well, the car will go to 83 again uh, instead of going or instead of going back to 120. So for me, the speed should not change. That is one bug or feature maybe that annoys the hell out of me. So you still have to pull the stalk uh, for like one or two seconds to get back to the maximum speed for that given uh, road. And that's something that I find really annoying. Now something that the car has been doing really well for the past couple of updates is stopping before stopped traffic. So if you're going 70 kilometers an hour, then the car will detect the stopped cars in front of a traffic light, for example, soon enough to brake in a gentle way. If you go 90 kilometers an hour, then yeah, it's still, it's detecting too late and doing too much of a hard brake to actually do that. And I kind of get the impression that it works better if the stopped car actually has his brake lights on. It's like the uh, AI that's that's working in the car, it's, uh, or the neural net that's working in the car, is uh, detecting the lights and the status of the lights as well. And it seems to be helping if the car in front of me, like you see now, has the brake lights on, that it detects it sooner that this is a stopped car. But maybe that's just me. So here we're coming up on the lane shift. Let's see if we can get it up to 17 kilometers an hour. And let's see what it does. Oh, it's braking. It's braking for that truck. Now it's moving to the inside and yeah, I have to slightly intervene or it would hit the curb. Probably, um, not going to risk that anyway, but it has been progressively getting worse in that specific situation for the past couple of updates. So Tesla, if you're watching, please fix this one because it's an important one. So now it's conclusion time. And what do I think about 50.6 as a new release? Well, <clears throat> the updates have been gradually getting worse over the past few iterations uh, in terms of autopilot, at least in Belgium. And this one gets a slight improvement on the S-curve, but then again, it is taking the inside lane or the inside lane marking, I should say, but also on highways, it is hugging the left lane marker. So there's for some reason a deviation to the left uh, of the lane or the left side of the lane. So that's something that's not good. As for the lane shift, um, yeah, it's still not trustworthy there to let it handle it by itself. So that is also still a point of improvement to make. And then I don't see any changes in the behavior of the auto lane change when you just pass somebody and then it slows down before it moves over. So that's a weird thing where I still think it has to do with the car trying to gauge whether or not the car you just passed is something that is moving away from the car or is coming closer. And sometimes it gets confused or most of the time it gets confused if the speed difference is not that big. Uh, but other than that, it is consistent. I don't see anything really new in this update. So yeah, it's uh, business as usual, but now you know, and hopefully I will get the 2019.4.3 really soon and I'll update you guys uh, on what's happening there because from what I've read so far there should be some really interesting features and new things in that specific update. So please subscribe to the channel using that button over there 
and then uh, don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye